being proactive. Sir, we just got an urgent request from the client. They want the presentation by tomorrow morning. Okay, let's not panic. What's left to be done? I still need to finalize the slides and add the new data. All right, here's the plan. I'll handle the slides and you can update the data. Then we'll review it together. Sounds good? Sounds good. But do you think? We can pull it up in time. Absolutely. Well, let's get started now. And if we need extra help, I think we'll ask Sarah and Mike to pitch. This first step in, in, in organizing everything, Sam, you really know that I am so very stressed out early. No problem. Being proactive help us manage situations like this. We've got this. Begin with end in mind. Uh, this project seems massive. Where do we even start? We start by visualizing the end What does success look like this project? Hmm. Well, we need to deliver a comprehensive marketing strategy for our client including market analysis, branding recommendations, and a lot of plans. Exactly. Let's break it down. By the end of this project, we should have detailed report that the client can implement immediately. Now, let's outline the steps to get there. Okay. So we need to start with research and data collection. Right! After that, we analyze the data, develop branding recommendations, and finally, create the rollout plan. We set the milestones for each phase to keep us on track. This makes it seem a lot more manageable. Thanks, right? Down into clear steps has really helped. Sure. That's the power of beginning with the ending one. Oh, no, no, no. Put first thing first. Emma, I have so many tasks today. I'm not sure where to start. Let's prioritize what's the most important task. The client presentation for tomorrow. Focus on that first. Next, update the social media calendar. Emails and meetings prep can wait until those are done. Got it. I'll start with the presentation. How did it go? Great! I finished the presentation and updated the calendar. I even started on the emails. Excellent! You know what? Prioritizing makes a big difference. Thanks, Emma. I feel much more in control now. Carla, I've been feeling exhausted lately. Work has been really stressful. I know what you mean, Micah. I've been feeling the same way. It's like we're always running on empty. I think we should do something about it. Maybe take a break and recharge. Sounds like a good idea. What do you have in mind? Um, how about we can get away? We could go hiking in the mountains and disconnect from our phones for a while. That sounds perfect. It will be nice to take a break from hustle and bustle of the city. It's amazing how a little time away can make such a big difference. Yay! Think win-win. Liam, instead of fighting over water, let's dig a shared well. I don't trust you, Emma. What if you take more than your share? If we keep competing, both our orchids will die. We need to work together to survive! But how do I know you'll be fair? 
we can measure. We need our orchards to thrive. It is our best chance. Oh, your orchards are the best. What's your secret? We are together. together.